I would like it if there was some sort of GPS built in and if you were wearing this in Barcelona, you could find your way around the city. Yeah, the little good. dot you are yeah. here. Hi guys, welcome to the latest video on the channel. Thanks for joining us. Today we are coming to you from a very rainy Liverpool. So apologies if you can hear the raindrops on the rooftops, but thankfully we have got this smorgasbord of brightness to cheer us all up and make us think of sunnier climbs. Don't adjust your sets. This really is the colours and patterns we've got in front of you. And that's exactly what Craig and I are going to talk to you about today. The graphics, the applications of logos, of badges, of labels, just the finishing touches that the graphics teams have applied across a few different brands that we've got in front of us. So we will go left to right and I'll let Craig grab a few jerseys and talk us through what he's seen and what he likes. Yeah, well, I think what's been really interesting over the last few seasons is there has been an explosion of graphics and some of them have been done really well and some of them haven't been done so well. Yeah. I've got to go back to the Lionesses uniforms, which obviously was really successful. So there's two things on this particular design that I really like. The first one is the jacquard across the garment is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And the badge application, I think, is really nice as well. And it's kind of the first time, I mean, I've seen this before in other parts of the fashion industry. Yeah, where like. it's something a bit iridescent. Yeah, but they've done a really nice job of just putting that whole kit together. And I believe what the game changer was with some of the stuff they did for the Lionesses was for the first time they made men's silhouettes yep. out of the women's yeah, designs. Right, we would usually say women's version of the men's team shirts. Yeah, that's right. But to and see I, a bespoke women's shirt and then a men's version of it was, to my knowledge, a first. If you know any different, leave us a comment. Yeah, no, absolutely, because there's another one that's underneath there, which was the pre-match top for the Lionesses. Again, great badge applications, but what a print. Yeah. I mean, I think that's absolutely tremendous, and you cannot buy this for love nor money. And there's actually a men's version of that, which I believe has been rocked quite significantly yeah, well, the, by the guys. The guys at Subside Sports, where all of these shirts have come from today, they're telling us that this actually sold out in the men's size and shape and sold out quickly as well. Yeah, it's great. So, yeah, I think it's really nice graphics, really nice jacquards, loved the badges. So they were two that kind of stood out for us from a graphic perspective. And then this from Umbro, which is Fluminense. Yep. Again, I actually really like the look of this garment. Yeah. If it didn't have the sponsor on, I would totally wear that. Yeah, I and it's, really, I mean, it's their really traditional stripe it. pattern, but they've added this really nice blocky graphic into it, inside yeah. it, which, yeah, just adds a bit of interest and lifts yeah. things up a little bit. Yeah, and the attention to detail of the little Umbro tape and detail in the back neck, I thought was really quite nice. It's a 120th anniversary one. But what I wanted to draw your attention to was just the application of the badge. I thought was really nice. No, oh, yeah. So we're not normally fans of woven badges, but that's no, but that's it's actually got texture really nice. And, yeah, you know, and it's actually within. quite canny on the inside. You know, there's not too much to it. Yeah. So yeah, I quite like that. But what lets it down big time is if I just do that. Green through. You see all the white that's coming through, which yeah. is natural from a printed T-shirt. But um, yeah, I quite like that. But again, graphically, you can see people are really experimenting and the designers are getting into it. And yeah, yeah so, shirt. you know, it's nice. But the next one I wanted to talk about, which is, it's absolutely cracking. You know, you would expect Roma kits. They're great, right? Yeah. I love a Roma kit. They are the France of club kits now. Yeah, Roma. absolutely. And to be fair, we've slated New Balance in the past because of their nipple grinders. And they're clearly not listening because it's still a nipple grinder. But having said that, what I think they've done an absolutely great job of is the badge application. And to my knowledge, I've never seen this before. No. Normally, when you get badges that have this kind of... Lenticular. Yeah, it would normally be quite stiff yeah. and quite coarse to the hand, whereas this is actually really quite soft, and it's really nice. Yeah. Sadly, they've banned the bloody thing, so they can't actually wear it. So if you're lucky enough to get a hold of one of these, cherish it, because... That badge is probably yeah, going to never be used again. But I mean, as a kit, I think that's absolutely cracking. I love that. But again, sadly, what lets it down is as soon as you do that, because they've had to print the front of it, because the white's coming through, it just lets itself down. Yeah. But again, I love the graphics on it. 
Yeah, really cool. Well, I'm gonna grab this Nigeria one. So again, another team that's starting to build itself a reputation and you kind of eagerly anticipate when a new Nigeria jersey is going to come out. And Nike have not disappointed again and no. neither have the Nigerian Football Federation. So the commitment to the really bright green, the graphics which speak very much into Nigerian art and culture, there's the big eagle on the front here, which relates obviously directly into the crest. It is just a thing of beauty. I would anticipate somebody half my age would feel a lot more confident wearing it than I do or would, but certainly it's just great. I mean, we, yeah. we don't need to talk about the material. We know what we're getting from Nike with that, but the graphic itself, again, doesn't disappoint. It's no. another big move forward from what they had even last time. Yeah, just on things that take we're back down to earth graphics that do disappoint though and it doesn't help that this is a quadruple extra large mm. we've seen this before in the replica and this is actually authentic and it still doesn't really get any better it's just horrible. um i'm just not a fan of it at all you know we all love nike addy puma marathon all the brands you know they're doing such a great job so credit where credit's due however now and again, there's a few kits which, in our opinion, just don't really make that much sense. And this one, for me, is one of them. Yeah. It's quite psychedelic. If I was on acid, I'd probably have a bit of a bad trip on it. You know, thankfully, I'm never on that sort of stuff. But, uh, yeah, so... It's basically a hangover with sleeves. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it at all. And it doesn't really get any better. What's interesting, though, is you'll get really beautiful things that work really well. And every now and again, there's some absolute... Hum dingers, yeah. And <laughs> yeah. but you can be forgiven for that, you know, because if every single solitary shirt was amazing, it would be quite a boring world, really. Yeah, I mean something else that we've seen quite a lot of over the last couple of seasons has been cartography and topography, essentially using maps and landscapes. Nike Barcelona continue that into the 22-23 season with this jersey. The map of Barcelona is actually knitted into the fabric and yeah. has the high shine yarn that calls out the streets yeah. within Barcelona. Barcelona. So that's a really nice execution of an idea that's been around for a little while. We did do a little bit of a deep dive into this shirt and the history of gold shirts with Nike. That's on our Patreon channel. Yeah. So this one, it's a great shirt. Before you move on though, you know what I think makes this jersey? And it's such a small little detail, but it's a rainbow stripe on the arms. Yeah, the colours of the Catalan it's... flag, isn't it? I yeah. believe. Yeah. I would like it if there was some sort of GPS built in and if you were wearing this in Barcelona, you could find your way around the yeah. city. That'd the little good. dot you are. Yeah. Yeah. But speaking of graphics that have been knitted into the fabric, that's what we've got here with this authentic Brazil home shirt. So with the animal print that's knitted into it, it would have been dead easy to have just printed this or debossed it into the shirt, which is what they've actually done for the replica. But on the player's version, they've kept going with this technology of knitting in functional panels. You can see that throughout the chest, there are more perforations. So really been quite thoughtful about what textures go where. Really nice that it's a functional graphic as well as being a beautiful detail but if we are going to talk about beautiful details and it's nike again then we have to look at these two france jerseys the home shirt relies heavily on a graphic that's knitted into it it's completely beautiful it's got a lot of function with the different textures within it as well then within this flat knit collar, we've got the oak leaves and the olive leaves, which represent strength and unity and equality. One of the cornerstones of their country and their nationality. And then this absolute belter of an away kit where not only is the crest executed beautifully in terms of the detail, the texture of it is amazing, but the graphic itself is so multi-layered where it represents traditional French toile artwork, but it's been modernized as well in a very Nike way. There's just so much depth in that as a shirt, and that's before we even get into all the other additional details. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's interesting because for the first time we've seen the Hummel blacked out to Tone on tone graphics as well. Big statement. For Big the World statement. Cup. But the badges themselves are really quite nice. There's quite a lot of depth to it. They're a little bit stiff. But again, designers expressing themselves in a really nice, unique yeah. way, which has been great to see. And there was one other that I wanted to talk about here. Hiding underneath all these massive graphics. Yeah, and the reason why I wanted to take this out is sometimes it's the tiniest, tiniest little detail that just makes something stand out. And if you've seen any of the reviews that we did on the Liverpool kits, I was waxing lyrical about this neckline. 
and Nike took this into again the lionesses and this time they've obviously done the nice kind of jacquard within the rib detail at the back on there but what's really nice is they've used a really simple power mesh yep. around the front of the neckline so they've even elevated yep. that neckline that I loved so much but Maybe for, more feminine. Yeah, and it's those tiny little details that I love to see designers do. And for me, this neckline is still one of the nicest necklines that I've ever seen. So, in all honesty, I've never been so excited about yeah, football the kits. Yeah, higher and higher. It really, really is. is. When you think of the community who are just designing the kits, like a Chris Mullen, for example, designs really nice kits. And there's loads of people out there that do it. They are definitely raising the bar. And then all the brands are having to raise the bar. Yeah. So we just get to sit here and review all these things and it's just getting better and better and better. So it is, it's great to see. So thank you very much for all the support and all the great designs from all years, really. Yeah, it's really inspiring to see. So if you'd like to learn more about how you could get a footstep into the football kit design world, then head over to sparkdesignacademy.com, teaching you some of the things that make the difference between a concept design and something that's commercial. Also, leave us a comment below if there are any other amazing shirts, a little bit more rare that we may have missed that have got great graphics on. We'd love to hear about those. And my final plug is for our Patreon channel. So join up, get exclusive content, enter competitions, have Q&As with myself and Craig, and just join an amazing community. So thank you very much, and we'll catch you next time on the channel. Cheers. All right. Right, guys, we're about to record. I'm going to silently order food. <laughs>